Hey, my name's Luke David Robinson, and I'm trading my way up to my dream car. A while ago, I bought a beta of a car for just £180, and I fixed it and flipped it for profit and repeated the process again and again. Will I ever find my way to that dream car of mine? Who knows? But it's sure gonna be fun trying. This is Talksteer, running down a dream. Ooh, it's starting to get cold. What's in this video anyway? <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and try and get this car looking a little bit better than it did in the previous two videos. Now, I know the priority of this car at the moment is to get it running properly and not bother too much about the cosmetics. And I have been focusing on that this past week. However, the car still isn't running like it should be. So I've ordered some new parts off eBay and Euro Car Parts. They should be coming sometime this week. So hopefully, fingers crossed guys, next week, I'll have this car up and running properly and that's something we can tick off the list so keep your eyes out for that video but in the meantime i might as well show you what i've been doing to the rest of the car cosmetically while i've been waiting just to get this car looking a little bit better than it did now you probably recall in the beginning video of this car this had loads of just plastic wrap all over the back of the car the glass was missing in the front window the driver's wing wasn't painted so in that vid in this video we're just going to go ahead tackle all that now the glass is still missing out of the back so i do have two spare tailgates out there with the glass in them just need to get a guy to go and take the glass out and stick it into this car but as you can see the paintwork is now all nice and shiny and ready and you can take that and then on the other side i've put the glass into the driver's door and i have also being careful not to scratch anything painted the driver's wing which still needs a good buff and a polish but it's looking a lot better than it did before so without further ado guys let's get into this video and i'll show you how i done it the first thing i wanted to get off the back of this car was just all this polythene wrap that had been there to protect it now it had done a good job protecting the car from the elements even though that's not what it's actually designed for but uh, unfortunately it's been on there for that long i'd left it outside for the best part of a year with this on uh, thankfully before the tears came into the back of it and it's also been probably left in a lockup for a couple of years with it on as well so as a result it got very brittle and once you start trying to pull it off it just kept disintegrating in my hands so unfortunately i couldn't pull it off in one clean sweep so i had to get in with a heat gun on a low heat setting and a soft scraper and was able to eventually just heat up enough not to damage the paintwork or to bear my hands but enough just to soften up the glue and to be able to scrape it off without causing any damage to anything now this took longer than you would expect it probably spent an hour and a half removing all this residue off the back of the car it was actually quite tedious to get it done however once it was done i came in with some tar remover which will also dissolve glue and actually just give the car a good wipe down and the paintwork underneath came up nicely and the car looked so much better for us So here is the spare pane of glass out of the back of the car for the driver's side. However, there is no mechanism in the door to wind the windows up and down. Now, thankfully, because I seem to have so many spare parts around for this car, I've got two doors lying in the garden as well, which have the window mechanism in them. So I'm going to go ahead, take them out, stick them in this car, stick the glass in, and hopefully it's going to go up and down. This assembly of the door is pretty straightforward. There's five 10 millimeter bolts along the door and there's also a Torx head. Once you undo all of them, basically everything comes out. The glass pulls out the top, mechanism comes out of the bottom and then it's just a case of reassembling that in the new door. But that is a little bit more tricky than it sounds. It's just trying to make sure everything lines up correctly so the window opens and shuts correctly. Now, also one thing worth noting is the door I was using there to disassemble was off a regular 205 and not GTI. And that means the glass is not compatible because GTIs had a bronze tinted glass where regular 205s were just clear. So I had to use the glass that was already in the back of this car, which was bronze tinted and designed for a GTI. Once everything was mated up correctly and screwed in, the window basically just went up and down and was as good as new. Well, that works like a charm. The window goes up and down perfectly, so as you can see, fits absolutely perfectly into the door. I've also put the driver's wing mirror on as well, and uh, I had a spare window mechanism as well, a winder, sorry, a spare windy 
window winder handle, whatever you want to call it, for this side. So yeah, this door is now pretty much complete on that side, and it also stuck the door handle that was missing off the other side of the car from one of the spare doors on that side. So that side is now complete as well. Now it's just a case of putting in the speakers and also a couple of door locks, and the door should be pretty much finished off. I've got some spare door cards there I can stick in as well, so that's one thing I am not too concerned about, and I think uh, it'd be very easy to finish these off. In the back of the car there was this ready mix spray can and it says Peugeot Grey on it and I'm guessing that's the right colour for this car. Of course there's only one way to really find out. So I've shook this up for two minutes, it's ready to apply to the panel. Hopefully this will all match up, put some lacquer on it and then this will be good to go back onto the car. Nice. Unfortunately the pattern, the spray pattern out of this absolutely sucks at the moment so uh, I'm going to try and find a new nozzle and uh, see if that'll work. It's like it's got clogged up because it's been left for so long. Right, great, I uh, had a brand new can of a clear coat, UPAL one, same cap on the top, so uh, this should work a lot better. Oh yeah, much better. And this wing's already been painted, because it looks like it's been red originally, but it's been flattered off, so unless you had some kind of problem with a clear coat or something, I'm not too sure. So starting off with one light coat on here, just get dusting on there. They've already sanded this paint and flattened it off already, so it uh, can take paint straight on it. Right, so let's give that 10 minutes, come back to it, give it the second coat a bit thicker, and then the third coat should be the thickest again. So I'm just going to give this half an hour to dry, then I'm going to go on with the clear coat. And then after 24 hours, this can then be bolted up to the car and hopefully everything will match and the car will be all one colour. So as you can see that is looking so much better now, what appeared to be those really deep scratches was just residue so this side of the car is looking great and same can be said pretty much for the tailgate. Now you can to see that the finish is not the best on this, I think it just needs a good buff and a polish to get that clear coat a little bit smoother because you can feel to the touch it's not the smoothest clear coat but I think this paint job can be um, saved quite decently so if I like zoom into there you can kind of see that the reflection isn't great. Uh, but I think we can actually make that a lot better with just giving a good, good compound and a good polish and then a good wax on top. And just show the same on the other side. So yeah, that car's now starting to look a bit more presentable. You can imagine now if we get the back glass in and I put the spoiler on and the wiper, this back of this car is pretty much finished off. Uh, down the sides here, I'm just going to show you that we put the door handle in, which was missing before, so that opens and shuts perfectly. Nice close on the car. So yeah, I'm happy with the progress so far. Uh, next up, cosmetically, we need to just get the wing sorted properly, get the driver's wing attached, and then get the front of the car on. But I'm going to wait for the front of the car just because let's make sure the car gets running first so I've still got more access to the car whilst the front of it's off, making any alterations or repairs easier at the moment. So there we have it, everyone. There is part, part three on the 205 GTI, part four, hopefully we'll be getting this car running. So if you want to see that stuff, you know what you do. Likes if you liked it, dislikes if you don't, subs if you loved it. But until then, thank you all for watching, see you soon, and as always, take care.